Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. So we're back again for yet another unbox. And this is kind of a season cliffhanger, if you will. As you can see, I actually got the Falcon Wave. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it anyways. Um, I found them all at one location in upstate New York in an uh, area called Lake George. It's kind of a kind of a, a resort location awesome lake plenty of tourist things to do up there just beautiful it's like a mini version of the Hamptons well at least that's what I what I called it so we went up to Lake George we were visiting some family in Saratoga Springs Boston Spa area we went up we went up there did a little little, little tourist thing right after the New York City trip and we came across this uh, very cool uh, toy and collectible shop called Heroes Hideout. They actually had these six figures already. They had them all there. And I said I wasn't going to do it. They were all there. I said, what the hell? Damn it, damn it, damn it. And I bought them. So so we have all those I've already unboxed. Now, quick recap. This is just my, my review of my best figures to the worst. Okay? Best ones go like this. Bar Baron Zemo, Scarlet Witch, Bucky, U.S. Agents, Vision, then Loki. But we're ready to open up the last one. The last one in this series, Captain America. Falcon as Captain America. We finally have our correct Captain America. You can sit your ass back down, okay? So, uh, did everyone checking out this video, did you actually watch the Falcon and Winter Soldier series? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, of course, on these packages, they, of course, give you what figures have what parts. And we got, of course, a little synopsis on the back. We have some amazing art with our new Captain America. Donning a brand new suit's wings from Wakanda, Sam Wilson proudly takes on the mantle, ready to unite people as the world's new Captain America. So let's get right on into this, guys. Now, while I'm cutting into this box, I want you guys to do me a favor. Go into the video description below, and you're going to find our YouTube Warriors. Those are other YouTube channels links to other channels with amazing content that I want you guys to go ahead after this video and I want you to check out those channels these are amazing people with some amazing content and you won't be disappointed guys I promise they are awesome people just like you and me and they put their heart and souls into their content just like just like what I do with with my videos I put everything I possibly can into these so I hope you'll take a few moments and check them out so we get a little back accessory for Sam. We get the Captain America shield. Very nice. Although I will, here's just my little suggestion. Just looking at the shield itself, um, if you're good with tape, with tape, you can probably tape it so that the the silver part right here. Hit it with some real silver, and just to make a little, uh, that in the star pop a little more, that would be my only suggestion. That's just the only thing I can think of. Um, I was hoping that there might have been a peg or something on here, because for some reason they had a peg on the back of U.S. Agents, which I thought was weird. And he did not come with any accessory like his own version of the shield that he makes. Um, they didn't have anything like that. Uh, Sam does not come with alternate hands, so we don't get any kind of alternate hands on here. So let's break them open. And then we get that same kind of peg, because that's obviously where his pack goes. This is the pack where, the version of the pack where he doesn't have anything out. This is just him standing without his wings attached. And where he would have his shield. Let's see if we can get the shield on. They do have some soft plastic on here, which is good.
Give me a second, guys. Let's take a nice good look at the sculpt here. Got the wraparound cowl uh, where we can just get to see his ears popping out. I love this look for him. I just wish that the, as far as the paint applications, that the silver popped as much as the, as this little backpack here. The silver that we have on the front, I just wish it would pop a little bit more. That's the only real gripe I have about that. We get a nice little silver Captain America star on both sides of the suit. Color, um, let's do a little comparison. Um, it's, it's not bad. Here's the Captain America worthy versus this one. This one's obviously much brighter because he's more of a brighter hero for the States, for the United States or for the world itself. We have nice little rocket thrusters on the back of his calves right there. So there is that. Got the pegs on the bottom right there. Of course, we can bend his. You can see they stick out the purposely on the suit like that. A utility belt is almost non-existent. I mean, there are no compartments on here. It's just all like that. But of course, this is a Wakandan suit. This is made by Wakandans, so this is from. Uh, those that don't know, Wakanda is the Black Panther's homeland and country. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if in the next movie that they're making for it, because they are making a Captain America 4. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this suit has extras that we don't even know about yet. Remember, they made suits that take kinetic energy and reinforces it. So uh, we've... We've heard through confirmation through Marvel that the, that the wings are made of vibranium. Who's to say that the suit isn't made of vibranium? So, there is that. And like I said, uh, I like the detail. We got the leather strap, so it looks very like, very much like it did in the, in the, in the movie, in the, mo in the TV show itself. I'm trying to figure out if... Uh, I know Captain America wore the shield on the other arm, but the other arm has this open up hand, so it's a little bit harder to kind of uh, thread thread it through, as it were. There we go. Now we got the shield. What do you say we uh, build his wings now, guys? Let me get this box out of the way. And we are going to build Captain America's wings. You don't get to say that every damn day, right? So, let's get all the little pieces right here. We got his little drone. All the pieces of the wings. Of course, this is the backpack version where it will have his wings extended. So, you can swap that out on Sam. And, of course, we get this nice little winds-like stand here. So, we're going to set that off to the side. So let's try and figure this out. Of course, we got nice little pegs right here, guys. I imagine that's where these are going to branch off to. Now, unfortunately, the box does not give us much information. 
there's no detail schematic of how this goes on you kind of pretty much just have to guess as you go guys Okay, so I think I have this backwards. There we go. And you kind of just are going to go with this. Matching up the colors, so to speak. At least that's what I'm going to do. And there we go. There's a YouTuber I follow called N Mgo Games. He has a saying I like to go with. Second verse, just like the first. Hope you don't mind I borrowed that. And there we go, we got the wings assembled. And these are some pretty big wings. Now, as far as this goes, I wanna say this connects onto the back at least in some fashion or shape or form. Hmm. Trying to see how this will connect. Because obviously this is going to, the stand here, pegs onto the back. And this is what's going to hold Sam up. But I'm still trying to figure out how we can connect this to the back. It looks like it's supposed to peg into... A little slot right here don't know if you guys can see that too well right there that's what it looks like and I'm trying to see if I can get that in there right now yeah. now these wings can move these wings are posable so we can do different kinds of uh, poses guys okay So if you want to do something like he's kind of like coming in for a weird kind of a landing so to speak we can do that there's a lot of different craziness that we can actually do with him I'm just trying to get this drone there we go I see because there's a little piece you guys can see right there there's a little piece yeah, it looks like it goes into the groove. There's a little corner groove in that peg slot right there. And that's what I'm trying to get him into. There we go. So I got him on there. Now, let's get Sam in there. And Sam basically is just going to... Peg right in. And there we go. 
We got Captain America in all of his awesomeness and glory. Just looks like a bunch of air. I'm sorry about that, guys. Having some issues with the uh, primary camera. So we're going to revert back to the C922. Just to give you guys a nice little look here. It looks like a bunch of, you know, just air and wind kind of cycle, cycling, cycloning up around Sam. He's got his shield. We can do some other kinds of poses here. I have other stands where we can do it where it looks like... Let me see if I can get his legs to bend a little bit. There we go. So yeah, we can even get it where he's flying and like I said these wings we can do different different kinds of poses with these wings here all the way around and yes you can bend and move this guy around sorry I pulled him out I was not meaning to do so but this little drone has a little bit of rotation like you can set you can set them up to do different things yeah so we can do all kinds of different stuff with with this I really like this I kind of really like that Like he's kind of just swooping in. But yeah, there's a lot of different things you guys can do with this now. Like Sam, Sam's coming in and maybe we're uh, taking some fire from someone. Um, this is, I mean, this is definitely probably one of the, this is probably the best version of Sam Wilson that we probably have ever had, at least in my eyes. Um, I just wish the silver popped a little more on here. Uh, the wings are fantastic. I love the, the look of the, the wings. I just wish the wings kind of, uh, could rotate a little, little bit up off the backpack. That's the only thing. Well, like I said, they're pretty uh, posable here, guys. Let me see if I can get to... Uh... Uh, the one wing came off because I'm an idiot. So give me a second here, guys. So yes, we can kind of do like he's about to shield himself. So yeah, there's a lot of different things we can do with this. I really love this. Uh, this is probably going to be one of my f favorite figures now. Um... I mean, there's so much we can do with this now. And I like that we have a, a nice proper stand for him. But he does have peg holes for his feet. Or, if I want to get creative, I do have a couple of extras of these bad boys. Just in case I don't want him to be limited. If I want his feet to have a little bit more air time. see if I can get this to cooperate these are the cheapo ones I get off Amazon they're not always the greatest I really need to invest in some good ones
trying to get this. Yeah, my stand, the this little cheapo stand of mine is now working. So I'm just gonna revert back to the uh, the one that Hasbro gives us. So what do you guys think? On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think about him? I think this is definitely, uh, this has definitely got to be a 9, 9, 9.5 to a 10. I mean, the paint applications could be a little bit better on the shield that is, but I'm just a nitpicker, guys. I mean, look at this. I mean, that just looks insane, guys. Um, if you have the means to get this, do I recommend it? Hell yes. Um, I mean, the figures, I mean, once you get the wing parts, I mean, you could always eBay the figures that you don't want. Am I going to do that? No. I'm not because, I mean, I really like the uh, Disney Plus series. All the series, whether it's Loki, um, you know, Winter Soldier, Falcon and Winter Soldier, or WandaVision. I've liked them all so far. So, So there we are. There you are. There I am. There's Captain America. So, if you guys get the means to pick, pick this up, I definitely recommend doing so. And also, I want to thank everyone for supporting the Dimension. For being a part of my crazy little Dimension here. Now, as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you have a question, concern, maybe a thought that I didn't cover, I want you guys to hit me up in the comments section below. And as always... Hit that little red bell. Hit that little red button below if you want to be a part of the dimension. Hit that bell for notifications so you can get notified when we drop amazing videos and content coming your way real soon. So until next time, you guys know what I'm going to say. As always, keep on busting, and I'll catch you on the flip side.